It's time you learned the transformation spell. After you've completed the required tasks, which I'm certain will prove useful in finishing your field guide, attend my class to learn the new spell. Afterwards, we will discuss your progress thus far in the term. Revelio. Revelio. So this is the underground harbor. The Grey Lady. I'd say hello, but she doesn't seem particularly social. Revelio!
Professor Weasley asked me to find should be around here somewhere. Looking for the book Intermediate Transfiguration? Professor Weasley asked me to, uh, get something from that book. May I have it? Did she now? I'll give you this book if you humor me by answering a few questions from my quiz. Quiz? Some people call bits of knowledge trivia. I would argue that no knowledge is trivial. Hence, I have created a small quiz, just for fun, focusing mainly on the lore of the wizarding world. None of the other students will try it, no matter how many times I ask. They all say they have enough with schoolwork. Ugh, oh, they don't value knowledge the way I do. Surely you're interested. I'll even start you off with a few of my easiest questions. If that's the only way I can convince you to give me that book, then let's get it over with. Splendid! Just a few questions and then I'll hand over this book. Let us begin. Before the invention of the Golden Snitch, which magical creature was used in a game of Quidditch? The Golden Snidget. Correct! The Snidget was first introduced to Quidditch in 1269 by a wizard named Barbarous Bragg. Sadly, they're thought to be extinct. Next question! Which potion is commonly referred to as liquid luck? Felix Felicis. Well done! Since it makes the drinker temporarily lucky, Felix Felicis is a banned substance in all organized competitions. The tale of the three brothers involves which magical artifacts? The Deathly Hallows. Correct! According to Beedle the Bard, the Deathly Hallows consists of the Elder Wand, the Resurrection Stone, and the Cloak of Invisibility. Which ball in Quidditch is the largest? The Quaffle. That's right! When a chaser throws the Quaffle through one of three hoops in a Quidditch match, their team is awarded ten points. True or false, Polyjuice Potion allows the drinker to change species. False. Correct. While Polyjuice Potion can be used to change things such as age or race, it cannot be used to change species. Well, I suppose this has gone on long enough. I'll put the book back on the pedestal now. If you're inclined to test your knowledge again, I have plenty more questions I could ask you. And I won't be giving you any more easy questions either. The next ones will be more difficult. I'd like to answer more questions. What governmental body directly preceded the Ministry of Magic? The International Confederation of Wizards. No, that's incorrect. The answer was the Wizards' Council. The Wizards' Council disbanded in 1707 after the creation of the International Statute of Wizarding Secrecy, which required a more structured government to support its enforcement. Which dragon breed is the smallest? The Peruvian Vipertooth. Brilliant! Though the Vipertooth is the smallest breed, averaging at around 15 feet in length, it is also the fastest breed and feared for its venomous fangs. Who founded the village of Hogsmeade? Hengist of Woodcroft. That's right! It is believed that Hengist used the Three Broomsticks Inn as his home. The hide behind was accidentally created by crossbreeding a ghoul with what other magical creature? A demiguise. While the hide behind has the power of invisibility, those who have seen it have described it as a tall, thin monkey with silver hair. What is the only spell known to repel a lethefold? The Patronus Charm. Well done. The only known survivor of a lethefold attack was a wizard named Flavius Belby, who was on holiday in Papua New Guinea at the time. Who published the law of elemental transfiguration? 
Laverne de Montmorency. That's incorrect. The answer I was looking for was Gamp. One of the principal exceptions to Gamp's law is that food cannot be conjured, though it can be summoned. What does the Hogwarts motto translate to? Never tickle a sleeping dragon. Correct! In Latin, the Hogwarts motto is Draco Dormians Nunquam Titillandus. Which magical creature is the only one known to produce eggs through its mouth? The rune spore. That's right! According to Parcel Mouths, each of the rune spore's three heads serves a different function. The left head is the planner, the middle is the dreamer, and the right is the critic. Where is Ilvermorny School of Witchcraft and Wizardry located? Mount Greylock. Well done! The American school was founded in the 17th century by Esalt Sayre and James Stewart. What is the most powerful love potion known to wizard kind? Amatentia. That's the answer. Amatentia smells differently to every person according to what they find attractive, such as dusty book covers or... <clears throat> Are you interested in continuing on to the next round? They're my most difficult questions. Give me your worst. Wonderful. I do admire your thirst for knowledge. Emmerich the Evil was killed in a duel against whom? Egbert the Egregious. That's right. Emmerich gained notoriety for terrorizing villages in the south of England during the Middle Ages when he was the master of the Elder Wand. If a chaser keeps their hand on the quaffle as it goes through the goal, what foul are they committing? Have a sucking. That's right! Blatching is flying to intentionally collide with a player. Stooging is when two chasers knock the other team's keeper away from the goals so that a third chaser can score. A bite from a mackled malaclaw has the unusual side effect of causing what? Bad luck. Correct! Native to the European coastline, the effects of a malaclaw's bite can last up to a week. What plant excretes stink sap? Mimbulus mimbletonia. Correct! The Mimbulus mimbletonia plant secretes stink sap as a defensive mechanism when touched. The pepper up potion evolved from a remedy created by which 12th century wizard? Linford of Stinchcombe. Very good. Centuries later, Glover Hipworth would expand on Linford's previous work to create the pepper up potion we know today. In The Wizard and the Hopping Pot, what does the elder wizard leave for his son in the hopping pot? A single slipper. That's correct. The story was created by Beedle the Bard, but there are a few versions. I won't spoil what the slipper was for if you haven't read it recently. The Snallygaster is native to which region of the world? North America. That's right. The part bird, part reptile, is a distant relative of the Okami and has serrated fangs and a bulletproof hide. Who is the Muggle Knight featured in the Fountain of Fair Fortune? Sir Luckless. Correct! The three witches in the story are named Asher, Althida, and Amata. Oh, I adore a story that ends with a twist. The world's largest Kelpie is also known by what other name? The Loch Ness Monster. Correct. The Office of Misinformation has worked diligently to discredit any Muggle evidence of the Kelpie's existence. Who was the first Minister for Magic? Ulick Gamp. Yes. Gamp's greatest legacy was the founding of the Department of Magical Law Enforcement. It outlawed the unforgivable curses. You've answered all of my questions. Ah, oh, it's nice to know there's another student who appreciates the value of knowledge. I'm frankly astonished by how well you did. You have a talent for trivia. Thank you for humoring me by participating. I had a splendid time. I put the book back on the pedestal for you. Revelio ought to make quick work of this. Revelio! Professor Weasley's tasks are complete. I should attend Transfiguration.
You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. My mother would like to speak with me. I believe she has learned about some of what we've been up to. I'm hoping she may be easier on me if you are there. Settle down, settle down. Transfiguration, as you may be weary of hearing me say, is an exact science that can take a lifetime to master. But we needn't be daunted. Almost anything can be transformed if you can just perceive the potential within it. As I see in all of you, tremendous witches and wizards, every one of you. Or it could just be my eyesight. Now, you all know what to do. Beautifully done. Can we meet at the Three Broomsticks? It may finally be safe since we rescued the dragon from Horntail Hall. You wanted to discuss my progress so far this term, Professor. I did. You seem to have had no trouble in getting up to speed. And frankly, excelling in your schoolwork this year. I'm glad to hear it. I'm not certain I needed all the extra assignments. And I'm certain you would not have been as successful without them. Now, it seems you've been making good use of the opportunities presented by your field guide. Of course, the guide isn't the only measure of success. I've heard that you can brew an impressive Edurus potion. Hopefully, you won't need it anytime soon, but it is a valuable potion to have when it is needed. Thank you, Professor. I will say I'm especially impressed with all you've accomplished in light of the rumors of your extracurricular activities. Were your meetings with Professor Black's house elf and exploration of various caves down by the lake connected in any way to Professor Fig? Not at all. I was, uh, intrigued by stories of a giant squid and wanted to learn more. I encountered Scrope, who seemed delighted to share what he knew. I see. I admire your penchant for learning, but do remember that your classwork and field guide are designed to educate you thoroughly. It'll be the end of the year in no time, and you'll want to be well prepared for your OWLs. I'll provide a final assessment at that time to ensure that you're ready for your exams. Until then, well done. You are dismissed.